Article 32, shall the Town of Hampton vote to distribute to the general fund all funds that were left in the Heritage Fund currently amounting to approximately $5,329.58, plus any additional interest earned thereon from past monies appropriated and gifts of money which are no longer needed due to the abolition of the Heritage Commission as a result of the passage of Article 35 at the 2015 Annual Town Meeting. Majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen, recommend 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 13-0, fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 32? Moved by Ms. Woolsey, is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bridal. Ms. Woolsey, would you like to be heard on Article 32? Oh, it just seems like a common sense thing to do, Mr. Moderator. All right. Thank you, Ms. Woolsey. Anyone else? Yes. Candace Stelmack, 488 High Street. I'd like to make an amendment to this. All right. To amend this um, article that we vote to reserve for building repairs of the three historical buildings we have in town, the blacksmith shop, the fish house, and the gristmill. So before we get to that, my difficulty with this, um, Ms. Delmack, is that there's, um, as I understand it, there's approximately $5,300 left in the Heritage Fund. And the article is saying, shall we give it to the, uh, shall we give those remaining funds in the Heritage Fund to the general fund. And that's really the article. And what you're proposing um, is, in my estimation, a different purpose. If you're against returning it to the general fund, then you would vote against it. And, and maybe you lobby um, town hall, if I can call it that, to, to apply it in the direction you want to. Um, but the other difficulty I have is if the Heritage Commission doesn't exist anymore, who has the authority to spend this money? Um, so uh, I'm, I'm rambling, but I'm not going to entertain your motion. Um, if you um, aren't in favor of having this money returned to the general fund and you'd like to have it expended for other purposes, then I, I, I um, urge you to take the time at the podium to tell people why. Um, but I think this is really, should we give this money to the general fund or not, and in what amount? That's the article as I understand it. All right, I'll speak to that okay. when you're done. Do you want me to do it now? Yes, please. All right. When we need repairs, uh, window breaks or a roof needs rebuilding or something, I don't know what kind of steps we have to go through. It would be nice to have a uh, $5,000 reserve fund on hand that we can just call up and say, we need some lights, we need repair right now. And that there is a fund, an historic fund. It could also be a place where we put some money in every bit during the year. Right now, we're having people put money in a special fund at the Historical Society if they want to preserve old buildings. And I think the town should do it because the town owns the buildings. And for that reason, I think we should be very careful about just throwing away money um, that we need to maintain properties. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Stalmack. The speaker. Okay, go ahead. Candy, um, do you know why the money was put into the Heritage Commission Fund? They were doing things like bug spraying and little repairs, and they were supposed to put a new door and windows on the grist mill, um, and I think we needed a porch on the um, fish house, and they definitely need some real structural repair for the um, blacksmith shop. It just never got done. But that, that's what this money was in the Heritage Fund for? Yeah. Uh, to your point, Mr. Bridal, I, I'm going to assume that the Heritage Fund was created with some purpose language and that the money can only be spent for whatever those purposes are. But for our purposes on Article 32, the question is, do you want whatever's in that money to go back to the general fund because the Heritage Commission has been abolished by what we did last year? So, Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. I'd just like to confirm uh, what... Uh, uh, Candace Stelmach said that uh, this amount that was in here was for exactly those purposes. It was for the maintenance and upkeep of those three buildings, the blacksmith shop, the fish houses, and the grist mill. That was the sole purpose for it. We had nothing else to spend money on, and that's what this money was for. And I think that her, 
her effort to try and keep it for that purpose is very commendable, and I would uh, uh, hope that uh, we would uh, be able to uh, uh, do it one way or another. If uh, the moderator won't allow it to go forward this way and all we're doing is just getting rid of money, that's too bad because we could keep it into a useful uh, purpose for the same purpose it was originally intended. Well, I think if you are of that inclination, okay. Mr. Rice, then you would vote against Article 32. Um, Mr. Moderator? Excuse me, Ms. Woolsey. Pardon me. Um, in the um, prior year warrant articles, we have a list from the finance office. The uh, grist mill restoration, which is the mill itself, has nothing to do with the dam. But there are $28,678 in that. So the grist mill isn't a problem. And the other items, if they are historic um, uh, edifices in the town, if they need to be repaired, should come out of the operating budget. These, if I may, speak, yep. um, these were not intended for restoration. These were intended to keep them from falling to the ground well, the on a short-term basis when we couldn't go back for warrant articles once a year. These are things that had to be done on a short-term basis. Roger Cyphers used to repair the foundation on the blacksmith shop. We had to go in and make some repairs inside that building. Mm -hmm. uh, there were uh, repairs from time to time that have been, had to have been made mm -hmm. on an emergency basis uh, because of weather or other things. And that's what this money was for. It was strictly for upkeep and to keep it from falling into the ground. Now, if there's an assurance that the, that the town will respond that fast, and can do those things out of the general fund, I would have no problem with it. But uh, my concern is that we need to have some way to rapidly respond with the money necessary to do emergency repairs well, on these Well, we should be responding if it's something that can come out of the operating budget and is routine maintenance or stop the place from falling down. But you've got over almost $29,000 in the grist mill restoration fund. It hasn't been spent yet. Not talking about restoration, Mrs. Woolsey. I'm talking about emergency repairs to keep it from falling well, down. It's prevent the roof from leaking, to prevent if, if a, a branch comes through that it. Was done. That's not restoration. No, and, and the prior speaker also referenced a, a different property, the blacksmith shop. So there, there are other properties other than the Grisman. What, what I struggle with is um, there's money apparently in the Heritage Fund. Uh, I don't know what the purposes of that fund are, and I don't know who's authorized to expend no money. Now. And if, if we cut off the spending authority by last year's action at this meeting to abolish the commission and this 5300 is is stuck with nobody to spend it you've got an article before you that would at least get it out of limbo and to the general fund and that's we, what our, our we would, we would our end our up discussion. with another case just like we did at the beach with the with the money that was set aside for infrastructure repairs down there when that got changed to take care of the tennis courts uptown we had a tremendous amount of money that was stranded in there we couldn't get to for two or three years uh, just because of the technicalities of the way it had to be done. I'd hate to have this money stranded uh, one way or the other, but I would like to see something that could help us repair these uh, these structures. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sir. Mr. Welch, you want to be here? Mr. Moderator, perhaps to... Uh, I can answer two questions. The one was raised before and one's raised now. Uh, these funds would go to the general fund. That is, they would be a revenue. They would reduce taxes, and I, I would think that uh, uh, we could think of that as... as um, we had previously said, could we transfer these funds to pay off something else? In essence, that's what we're doing, because they're going to be a revenue and they're going to decrease appropriations. As far as the repairs of those buildings are concerned, anytime anybody has notified us, we have sent public works over there to do work. We have asked for a number of times for lists. We have not received them. Uh, and since we have not received them, we haven't done the work. But public works is capable of going over there and doing the work that's necessary keep those buildings in proper repair, and I would think that's their function. All right. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 32? Seeing none, we'll move 